right, welcome back everybody to Coffee and Art in the Morning. I think we're on part four now of our mixed media napkin, color book, collage, paint, poster. And it's uh, 16 by 24. I'm a little bit zoomed in so you can see a little bit. Uh, we've already colored the images, we've glued them on, we've got napkins in the background, and we've already started painting in the sky, and we're working our way down to the mermaid. <laughs> so thanks everybody for being here. All right, so now I'm going in with the, um, I'm going to start going in with uh, the greens and start just kind of working it in. You, you got to treat it like a painting, which it is at this point. You're 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 painting in everything, just like a painter. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of the uh, medium green here and kind of start blending the medium green, maybe a little dark green, into the sky, into the top, the 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 space part. And you can always blend with your fingers. And again, the reason you can blend and wipe back on these napkins is because they have matte medium over them. That's the reason why you're able to uh, remove and blend and, and smear paint around pretty fairly easily, even on top of napkins, is because of the matte medium. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'm having fun. I might still need some blue, too, because we're going to kind of go back and forth up here into certain areas. So I want to make sure I can blend all that in. And this is the part that in, I enjoy, and I usually this is the part I take my time on the most because I'm, like, very, you know, it's very calming for me just to sit and... You know, that's when you hear me go, shh, 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 <laughs> I'm talking to myself, and um, I'm talking to myself and uh, just blending paint and playing with elements in my little world. And that's, as I go, I see new things. But it takes time. You can see this, you know, I'm not rushing through this. Chance has assembled his rightful position. Aww. Barb's cat will sit and watch me. I know it's weird, but he knows. He knows who, who loves him. <laughs> Siamese cats always love me. So I'm going to just get my uh, a little bit of water on my brush and kind of try to start blending a little bit. It's You know, the paint is getting a little bit dry, but you can just kind of make it washed in. You know, you can wash in those colors a little bit here, a little bit there, and just keep going back and forth. And this not it's not something I can explain like exactly what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of blending in areas, making it all fit, right? Lights and darks. And remember, it's just acrylic paint. You don't like an area, you can paint over it, right? <laughs> you just keep painting over it. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm also gonna gotta keep wetting this here. Start getting in, blending in some. I want to start getting this lighter and lighter. I want to keep this light area. I want to paint over it. I don't want any white, flat out white. But I want it to be. Uh, I don't want it to be, uh, I want it to have mint in it, minty green. So you can just always throw down a little paint and take your baby wipe and start blending. Somebody's tweeting me. I don't want to lose those words either. I don't know if you can see the napkin has words in them. I'm not going to get try to get rid of that. 
I want to keep some of those words in there. Not that you have to read what it says, but I'm not trying to cover up those words. I want to, you know, otherwise, why are we using napkins if we're going to full on cover it up? Not that you have to be afraid. If you want something covered up, cover it up. But uh, I want to keep some of that napkinage, you know, showing. I want a little textury bit going on, so like nebula, nebulization, as I call it. When you make a nebula, your nebula, nebulization. <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. All right, so I'm gonna go in here with some medium greens and just add a little water to my brush and just kind of. Kind of feather it in a little. Get too much or not enough. You can always add more. Pull some off. Okay. Go in there and add more planets or pull it up or down. Right now, I'm really blocking in. I'm getting all the, all the uh, areas kind of just blocked in. You can go in there and add more watch hands, you know, feathers, leaves, flowers. You just can keep on, right? Okay, I kind of cut that edge a little wonky. I'll just trim that off. But I did get it a little wonky. <clears throat> All right, so when I trim the napkins off, so I'm just going to go in there. It was that red. I have a, there's a tiny bit of red left on my brush. I mean, I'm on there. I'll just, Go ahead and get rid of that edge. I think it just needs glue. That's what, oh, it's just a piece of napkin hanging over. That just needs to be trimmed. All right, so let's. Oh, okay. Oh, Barb sent me a photo of Chance. Let's take a peeky. Let's take a peeky at Chance watching. Hang on, guys. Oh, oh, look, there's Chance, that's Barb's cat, well, I, I kind of say he's mine, but, you know, <laughs> all right, so let's get in here with some real light minty green, and just kind of adding a little bit more flavor. <laughs> <clears throat> Hope you all have been enjoying this. I know it, it takes a while to get to this stage, right? <laughs> it's taken us three, four hours using the napkins, then the color book pages, and now we're finally getting to the part where we're painting things in. It takes a while. See, I'm going to paint in some of her hair and all that. It takes a while to uh, get to this stage. Do you see how it's starting to blend? I hope, I hope. Yes, we share him. <laughs> Barb knows if they, those two cats ever need a home, that's right here. And we'll probably add some mist, some fog, maybe some water. I don't know yet. We'll see. See where it goes. Right now I'm just kind of trying to make sure everything looks, you know, set into the world. And that just takes a while just going around all the areas and, you know, playing with it. If you don't pay the vet bill and you get to enjoy it. <laughs> so true, Barb. So true. Hmm. But don't be afraid if you see a sharp edge and, and it does you just want to get rid of it, just paint over it. Don't be afraid just to paint in whatever you want. 
like right here. See how that flower, I cut, that's, this is the middle of the napkin right there, and this is where we have the line. I'm going to try to make sure you don't see that, but I'm going to go in here with a little bit of red and just kind of make my own little petal edge there, just so it's not a sharp cut off edge, right? And we got the coral coming down in here. So this flower petal might be growing off of this coral. We're working our way down. Oh, good. Thanks, Terry. Thank you very much. All right, let's come back over here with some of the blues. And again, it's starting, things are starting to dry up. I'm going to have to get some more uh, paint out. A little bit more blue harbor, a little bit more white. A little bit more uh, Prussian blue. All right, let's see here. Get a little bit of Prussian blue and mix a little bit up here. Let's see what we can do up here in this corner. it in with a little bit of green. Some of these little leaf things. And make sure his beak is showing. You know, you got to make sure your edges, you don't want to lose things. And you might have to go in there and darken and lighten areas, you know, especially around your color book images, because you don't want to lose them. But you don't want it to be so stark either that it's like, oh, you know, that pops out. A little of a mint, just kind of give me a little bit of a blend right there. Here my get my uh, the shark orca needs water unless he's yeah. Well, we'll get we haven't got we haven't got down to the water yet, guys. We're still up in space. <laughs> We're still up in space. All right, let me get my baby wipe. A little dark green in here. I just kind of go with what I think looks good, guys. It's not like a formula or anything. This is too sharp of an edge right there, so I'm going to need to get a little bit of gray and kind of get a little blend in that watch part. So I'm just going to get out some slate gray. I know there's some in there. Maybe need another jar. There it goes. That came out. I want this to be lighter down here. A little bit more misty right in that area. What happened? Okay, just going back and forth with the greens, the blues, the grays. Just 
So I like a nice transition. And when you kind of keep it some of it dark around her, it makes her pop out, you know? Need a little bit of red. Add a little bit more to that rose there, that flower, whatever it is, whatever kind of flower it is. All right, now I'm going to come down here with the mint green, more of the minty. Just talking it out loud, guys. It's not that I'm talking out any kind of formula or anything. I'm just talking out what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to start transitioning into some lighter areas. I want to get rid of all these edges. This one, I think I need a little bit more red. Just go ahead and bring that coral right off the edge, like that. <clears throat> Everything okay, guys? No, did we see a thanks? Like the transitioning, there's a lot going on. I mean, there's a lot going on in these worlds. Trust me, it's a poster, it's a whole world going on here, right. All right, so I'm just going to keep bringing down some of the green right now, but we'll get into some more, you know, maybe some more uh, gray-blue down toward the bottom. But I want to try to make sure we don't lose, um, we don't lose any of the uh, um, garden part. And I might, you know, add a little bit of, a couple of leaves might be coming right over the top of this watch part maybe, I don't know. A little bit of something else going on in there. Kind of set it back in the forest. All right. I need a little bit more red on that plant. Spring it right over the edge of the watch. A little bit. Just keep going all over, back and forth. So let's see if you can see what we got going on so far. Yep, very busy in this world. <laughs> hey, little P. Anybody else hopping in? All right, let's get let's keep moving. It's out of my way so I can move this up a little. And I'm probably going to do some kind of swirly stuff in her hair here. Let's go ahead and see about doing some of that. 
Can get more detail in there in a little bit. I just want to kind of remind myself not to forget her hair because I'm going to make it transition up into the uh, what do you call it? Uh, sea foam kind of green. That's a little too much there. Okay. I don't know if you have any questions or anything, guys. I'm just painting it all in as best I see. Okay. Constantly moving things out of my way. Now I gotta kind of decide what color uh, what I want to do down here. I'm move the paints again. Ugh. I keep shoving everything up this way, and that's running right into my paints. All right, I think I might do. I might go ahead and add some turquoise. Let's go ahead and add a couple of tealy colors. Let's go ahead and add some Bahama blue and bluegrass green. Oh yeah. <laughs> Although I like the light color too. Hmm. It's a little. I'm not sure if I want to introduce these colors. Do I want to introduce those colors? Or do I want to keep it? Do I like the lightness down there? I almost like it light. Hmm. I want to put that right on top of the black or the dark blue. Maybe that means I shouldn't be adding it. I'm not sure if I want to add the teal because I really don't have teal anywhere I almost think we should go with sand color and add water I think we'll do that instead of the teal colors let me put those back at least for now I think we're gonna go with a couple of colors of sand colors let's go with uh, let's go with traditional burnt sienna a little raw sienna and a little like a golden ochre or something like that. Let's go with the uh, let's go with uh, spicy mustard. Have I lost you guys? I mean lost you like your attention. <laughs> Have I lost your attention because it takes so long? I know guys it does. It takes a while to do these. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with the uh, darker kind of um, darker sienna color, and I'm going to start working along the bottom. Just to get the, just to kind of get something going on down here at the bottom. But it's mostly going to be just blends. Okay. Have you ever put anything on DeviantArt? No, I'm, I don't even have a DeviantArt account. I don't have time for a DeviantArt. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I know of it and, and know people on it. I just don't have time to do, um, do another social medium, media. 
most everything I do I put on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know, and I do Ustream and YouTube. Sometimes I'll connect to G+. Um, yeah, I, I don't just don't have time, guys, to do another. So I'm just kind of getting quite a bit of paint on here with these couple of colors. And then what I'll do, I'm going to add some yellow ochre in here, and then I'm going to take a baby wipe and start blending. Okay. Just going to put a little bit here and there, and I'll start blending. All right, so just got some color down there on the bottom. All right, so now I'm going to just start, you know, and you got to keep moving your uh, baby wipe around, when, uh, otherwise, you're just going to be moving paint. You got to, you know, if you wanted to have uh, clean edges in places. And like I said, I'll probably put some water. I don't know what else down here yet. Right now, I'm just trying to get rid of the harsh white of the napkin or the background paper. But, Mom. Oh, Mom's just messaging me about Ken. Yeah. All right, so there we go. I'm just going to kind of keep blending. I think I like it better with some of this yellowy colors down here. And, and I'm going to, you know, fussy in it better. But I, I'm liking these colors better than I am going to like a teal. Because then it's going to get too, uh, it'll get too psychedelic for me. I'd rather, I'd rather keep it more. And we're going to probably add some mist, some water, you know, some other things too. But I just want to get rid of the white harshness down here. So there we go. That's a start. All right. Hey, Pam. Pam, I showed your happy mail earlier on the second segment of this. It says happy mail in the segment because my mail came during the show. Some fresh baby wipes. My mail came during the show, so I went ahead and showed yours and Sharon L's and a couple other people. Hey, the busier, the more awesome. <laughs> you like it like that, fairy treasures? Okay. Right, I'm just going to get some of the excess crusty paint off my hand so I can keep blending and working. All right. All right. More baby wipes. All right. Got to get into a little bit more detail now. We'll work for about another, um, you know, 30 minutes. So however much we get done in 30 minutes is how much we're getting done. <laughs> so I, I, I wouldn't mind some like red corally, you know, something red coral or some more seaweedy stuff. So let me get a little bit more. I'm going to go with the alizarin crimson. Eh, maybe two. Yeah, I better not. Let's just go with regular red. I don't want to get, I, I don't want to just start getting too purple. I'm going to keep it the reds because that's what we've done so far. All right, so I'm just going to start maybe adding in a little bit of some other you know little little something's going on down here just a little color you can add some other kind of coral you could look up coral look at what it looks like and draw it in you know i just want some little you know some some kind of something something going on <laughs> Kind of bring that red down a little more because we got red going, you know, all over the place. So I just want to add a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more from there. The 
it's harder to work down here on the bottom because I don't have any space up there. With a little sienna to brown some of it up a little. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to let you know that it was up there, though, um, Pam. Didn't want you to miss it, because I appreciate your Happy Meal. Everybody liked your stickers. And dry that guys because I'm gonna otherwise my sleeves will be catching on the edge here uh, catching on the edge of this border and I'll be spreading paint all over the place so let me go and dry that <laughs> Hi, Juju. thank you for being here Winding down. And I'll probably paint the back black to give it another layer of strength. so far all right I need to work on our hair I don't think we're gonna have time to get to all that today but I do want some more work in her hair like almost want to take and get some more dark green and almost paint in some extra finage finage is that what fins are finage <laughs> in her hair. <clears throat> I almost could go in here with um, a liner brush, you know, but I want, what I want, my idea is, is to bring her hair way on up. I think that bird could even have a piece of her hair in his mouth. He thought it was a, he thought it was a worm or something. I don't know. <laughs> so I just want her hair, maybe this comes out in his mouth too. I'm going to have the, her hair just really floating through the whole thing. The paint's getting so dry. I'll do some individual little hairs with the liner brush to, you know, make it look more like hair and not just seaweed. <laughs> yes, mermaid's going to get stickled too. I'm going to try to, I want to try to get a, at least far enough painted where I can get in there with some stickles. But you have to have everything bait the the base, everything painted right uh, before you stickle. But as long as I got that area, like her tail, for instance, you know, we can go ahead and stickle that. Oh, I'm only doing her face. You know, more detail in there.
I mean, that might be a little too much. <laughs> I don't think I'll take it quite that far. Needs a bandage on her tail? A bandage? A bandage on her tail? Why does she need a... Oh, you mean where I cut it? Okay, I am going to put some more water splashes and stuff down here, but I got to get the background done first, guys. You got to get all that in. So I want to set these shells down. I'll set this down into a little bit of a, you know, dirted area or sandy area. Okay. Let's see, we can add some more blending back here. I want this to be a little less stark white. Whale looks awesome in the mermaid. I'm glad you cut it out and colored it. Thanks. Yeah, I did. I gave the I did give the book away. Um, I did do a giveaway for the book, but I did cut him out. <laughs> I cut him out first. All right, let's go ahead in here with a little bit more yellow ochre. I need a little bit more white, too. Let me pick up some white and bring it over here. We'll add some, uh, we'll add some water splashes. Some, I don't know what else yet. I could sit here and paint this all, literally until I went to bed tonight. I could sit here and even forget to eat <laughs> and just sit here and paint all night. But Hubster will come home hungry. want to add some um, like some brown rocks and some white foam I, I don't know about where I'll, I don't know that I need water coming on here because um, now I'm in, gonna be in a group text with Denise and my mom I might have to take the phone out of here they're gonna text each other and I'm on the group I'm on the group They don't know I'm streaming. Mom probably thinks I'm long done streaming by now. So anyway, I'm just not sure that I need any water, like falls, like waterfalls. I might need a little, maybe a little misty something, but I'm not really thinking it needs actual water. It's almost like you get the, you know, you know that some there's something watery here. Does it end here? Does it start there? Where does it transition from, you know, space into the underwater sea? I, I almost like it where you can't really tell what, where it goes, you know? I can almost put just the tiniest bit of wash a sienna or ochre wash right on him just to almost make him a little bit more in the world. So we'll go ahead and put a little bit of the sand world on him just to make him a little bit more transitioned into the world. Just a touch, not a lot. It just kind of sets them back, you know, just a little tiny bit by adding just that little bit of brown. He's 
great nesting material. Do I? It looks awesome with the mermaid. I'm glad you cut it out. Okay, got that. That's what take. That's what takeouts for. <laughs> yeah, but he gets tired of that when he has to eat out, especially on the road and stuff. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead. I'm going to start with. Um, let me go ahead and get my. Where's that fluffy brush? My gallon hand. Where's my fluffy brush that I just had? I'm sticking in the water. But the brush that I'm using to flick paint. Well, it's gone. I don't know where that baby rolled away. All right, let's get another one. <laughs> I don't know where that fluffy brush went. We'll get another fluffy brush. All right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to get some darker brown. Let's go with, um, where's a dark brown? Where's my, oh, here we go. No, I even darker than that. I think we'll go with a, a really chocolate brown. Okay, let me take my phone in the other room, guys, because they're going to be, I don't know how long they're going to be talking. And every time they message each other, it's going to make noise. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get a little watered down brown here. Because really what I want to do now is just create some kind of rocks, texture, something going on down here you know, in the world, rather than just a flat, you know, edge with some kind of whatever. I want more. I want more stuff going on down here. So. And then I'll probably put a little bit of, of white, too. So. But I really want the sand down here. I want you to be able to tell that there's some kind of rocks or sand or something going on. I don't want to get too much now. Dab a little of that off. Okay. So just a little bit more stuff going on. Down and around here. And again, I could be sitting here all day playing in this thing. I really could. All right, now I'm going to get a little bit of a dark green. Maybe a couple of the greens there. Just a little bit of watery green and be careful. And I want to just put a little, little bit of green splatter here and there. Not too much, just a little. Just gives it more like, helps the transition. All right, now let me dry this and then I'll put some white. Maybe a little foamy stuff. I don't know yet. Hey, Nanamig. <laughs> you never thought napkins would ever work on this piece? <laughs> oh, we make it work. And I, like I said, I could spend a lot more time, you know, coloring and doing things. But I want to get to the stickles. Okay, one other thing I do want to do is get her some highlights in her eye. Let me get the pupil back with a Sharpie pen. Wherever that went. No telling where my Sharpie pen went. Here it is. All right, now just a little bit of white flicks. Let's go back to the some more. Oh, God, I got a little bit of gray in there. Oh, well. My water's dirty. I should have I uh, sprayed it in. All right, now. I'm going to put some right on top of the whale, but not in his eye.
Okay. Maybe just a little bit more up here in the world, the transition. Oh, I wanted to do the watch hands too. Dang, hang on. So many things I want to add. Okay. Let me dry it again, guys, real quick. Yeah, yay, glitter! All right, before I do that, I didn't, com oops, I didn't completely dry all those dots, but I want to, um, let me get a, let me get a, where's my ruler? Oh, a ruler. Get my metal one. So I don't leave a, because it's so big, I'm going to go ahead and use a ruler. I want to trend, I want these uh, watch hands to come out. It's going to take me a couple minutes to get this the right thickness, guys, so hang on. I might have to actually use paint. I don't know if my paint pen. Let me start with the shot. Let me show my brush pen. Where's my brush pen there? Because we're going to, I might be too black. I'll, I'll go over it with blue. Don't freak out. <laughs> I'll we'll have this one going right off the edge. Okay, let's make it a little thicker. The metal rulers that have the cork prevents anything from getting underneath of it. All right, so now, now let's see if my, maybe, maybe it's just this pen. Maybe I need another pasta. Sorry guys, I bumped the camera again. I'm gonna have to open up a new one, I think. Oh wait, here's another one. It's sitting over there. Do you see the rainbow? I see a lot of them in here. I don't know if you mean a certain, did I purposely put in a rainbow? No. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure where you mean, guys. And then I'm going to go in here with a little bit of a blue shadow. But I'm going over a, a crunchy napkins here, guys. So I'm kind of taking my time because I'm, I'm going over texture here. Let me turn it. really rough and my pen won't make a smooth mark the Posca rather won't make a smooth mark because it keeps wanting to catch on the napkin you can probably hear it All right now I want to take my blue gray and sharpen that it's going over the fairy and bird's wing yes it is oh the 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 uh talking about this line or are you talking about the rainbow thing hang on guys I'll look for it in a second now I'm just going to kind of get the black and the white to look like it's a dimensional watch hands see And again, I'm going over the top of 
crunchy napkins. So it's a little trickier than just doing it if you're painting it. But I want this shadow. Move right up. Rainbow. Okay, I'm not sure what you mean. This? That's her wing? I'm not sure where you're seeing the rainbow exactly. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of we need to kind of flatten this out. I'm going to I'm going to roll it. Remember, this was out of my art journal, right? I'm just going to kind of roll the edges. There's a couple of little bits that need to be trimmed here. I think I'll just go ahead and trim the whole thing. Let me turn it over, guys. I'm going to trim the, all the edges just a bit because it's a little crunchy on the edges where the napkins went over the edge. So let me, let me um, trim off the crunchy. The crusty bits. Trim off the crusty bits. Really, it's easier to do it. Oops, sorry. It's easier to do it from the back because I can see the crusty bits. From the front, I can't. Okay, I got that off to this edge. Knocking over all the paint. guys. I'm getting it. All right. There we go. All righty. Actually, this could be even a little bit more, more. It can almost be a little bit more. I'm going to add another thickness with the brush pen and blend it in again with the blue. Just needs to be a little bit more um, stand out, just a little bit more. It's kind of not seen as much as I want it to be. I'm going to go back over it with the blue shadow. Thanks, guys. Well, I'm going to get to the stickles here in just a second. Got about 10 minutes. <laughs> we just worked this one really good, didn't we? Took a while, but I knew it would. I knew. I had planned on it being pretty much an all-day project. And this is the fourth part. And so I knew it would take about the rest of the day. But I did want to fit, and I'm glad we did finish the uh, Bennett Klein. Oh dear. And we did some happy mail in between. So we got quite a bit done today, guys, and I had fun. Hope you did too. And I'll have to go back in there with a little bit more white. Let me just try it with the pencil, because that seems to be going over these napkins pretty good. Move everything out of the way. Where's my white pencil? There it is, let me sharpen. The pencil's blending better on the napkin. Let's get out the stickles now. Do a little bit of stickling. Move all this out of the way. All right. Pick up all these paints so I have space. All righty. I 
some right in here, as a matter of fact. So let's use it. So I'm going to just use clear. Oops, I dropped it in the trash. I'm going to use clear because anything under the clear is going to be the color. You feel accomplished? You should feel... <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go with the uh, clear because anything that's under it, anything under the clear, I'm going to put a little bit of, just a little bit of watch hand glitter on there. Maybe a little bit on a couple of these uh, blue planets. I think I'll put a little bit right along the... my nebulization. <laughs> and it's not going to show up, guys, especially when I, um, when I photograph it, but you can see it. All right. Her wings are going to be completely covered. And I'll just show you as we go. I think I'll come down here and add some to the fish fins. I'll add some to this little uh, seahorse too. Seahorse just happens to be there. And all his fins, I'm going to glitter up his fins. And these watch hands. And the mermaid. I'm just kind of doing scribbling on it. Dee Dee, with Inktober, can you work on a big project for the week or does that have to be completed? Um, I think you're supposed to do a drawing every day. I think that's the idea of it, but he doesn't really have rules about it. I mean, it's your project, you know, you're the boss of your inking. Um, but, you know, if you're going to post something every day, you know, you'd have to be posting the same picture every day, just a little further along. So I would just as soon post, um, I would just as soon post something different every day. Okay, I need a little bit of glue behind that fish tail. Kind of came up just a little bit from all the painting and stuff on top of it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and go in her hair. Even though technically I'm really not done with her hair, but I'm going to go for it. <laughs> because I want it to come way on up here. And I think y'all got the idea of everything. You can take more time on if you do something like this. You don't have to rush. Take days if you want, you know? A little bit of napkin right there it needs to be glued down. All right, 
Let's see here. All right, girls, that what did you do last year? I don't think it doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. Okay, let's see. What else do I want to glitter up? Might need a little bit of something else, but here we go. So the glitter and the stars. Her. Her wings. A little bit down there on the whale. And then the whole mermaid's glittered up. We got her really glittered up. Glitter good. So I think, guys, we're going to call that done. Well, at least for today. Let me see if I need to back out, though. Let's see if we how zoomed in we are. Let's refocus. No, I'm going to need. You can see the whole thing. So, yeah, there we go. Hope y'all enjoyed it. You can see all the stickles on her. I'll take a picture and tweet it for you. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks, guys. Well, I'm going to head out, go eat, do some, take a shower. <laughs> coloring bug. We did a little bit of everything today. So I'm going to let y'all go and thanks everybody for watching. See you at Jean. Well, I'll probably be late to Jean's, but I'll try to, you know, get, get in there for a little bit. All right, guys. Bye.